it's time. Ah, food. I stopped it this time. You in love? Okay. All right, up next. Wait, wait, wait. Was yours a winner's round one match or a winner's round two against Bishley? That was that was round one. Okay. I was like... In Cloud City, too. Who, wait, who did who did you play? Oh, oh, he... Oh. Good job, man. Hype. Okay, so we've got Love versus Sandman. Love making the round one upset on Zach, and now we'll play Sandman in quarters. <clears throat> and congrats to Love on uh, getting a, a PR win. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a big win. Yeah. Zach has been uh, messing people up for quite a while now. Zach is one of the pinnacles of consistency in this. I don't community. know if I'd say pinnacle of consistency, but he's recently. fairly consistent recently. Yeah, honestly, he's, he's hitting he's hitting a good stride. How about I, that? I've uh, I'll let you in a little bit of information. We started doing data collection for okay. the BCR, and you know who's actually the pinnacle of consistency? Me, going 0-2 every time. Okay, uh, fair. Is it Shogi? It's yeah, Shogi. I heard you kind of say it. Yep. He, uh, looking at the data in the entirety of last season, he hasn't lost to, his worst loss was Len, including all the Oddishes, all the BC regionals. This is a bad loss. This, exactly, it's not a bad loss at all. This this isn't counting Fraser Valley weeklies, but right. I'm not sure what I don't follow those as closely. But still, he's crazy consistent. But this isn't again about Shogi. This is about Sandman and Love. We're mm. gonna see Rosalina versus Robin. Uh, one thing that I'm worried that worries me about this matchup is the edge guarding. Um, yeah. Robin has a very linear and vertical recovery, which is prone to getting stuffed quite easily by Rosalina's down air. They used uh, so to also play a lot. They do play a lot. That's also true. So I'm, I'm, I can only imagine Sandman's has a decent amount of experience getting that edge guarding. Uh, but it, but guess. Love also has to know about like how, how you ca how can like mix up your timing to work around that limitation. I'm interested to see what the answer is to get rid of Luma fairly nice easily. Dodge. Oh, but oh, okay. Got hit by the down air early. That could have been scary, but it was the hitbox that sent to the side, not down. Mm -hmm. If that down air had sent Love down, that would have been the stock. Okay, so we're going to see heavy heavy use of projectiles. Mm -hmm. The projectiles are quite good at uh, separating Luma and, uh, and Rosa. As is uh, dash attacks actually really good for it, too. Interesting. Uh -oh, and, uh, there goes the sword. Yep. Ooh, did not reverse. Little things, but they can add up. Oh, yeah. It's always about the little things. Does he have a jump? He does have a jump, but that doesn't matter. Oh, okay, no, matter. still alive. Love's still alive, but still in a very bad position. The jump, though, nice tag from Love that coming out to stay alive. brutal, because I think she's out of Elwins. Mm, yeah. Wait, no, I don't think so yet. Definitely oh. running low though. Like the Elwin does. The, the Elwin does last quite a while. That was the Thunder Tome, I'm pretty sure. Oh okay. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm colorblind. <laughs> That's okay. If that book is quite hard to see. What? See, one of the biggest problems, like you, sh when you're in disadvantage. Oh, that's Ooh. brutal. Sent sent Robin right back into the stage. But um, not getting the spike was actually very beneficial there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the book. Uh, oh, sorry. I was gonna say the. Uh, oh, that's a oh. missing. That's it. That's it. Unfortunate. <clears throat> that's not a. Arc Thunder off stage. Arc, Arc Fire off stage is gonna get you killed for it's sure. It's a long, long time. Yeah, being anywhere off stage is Robin just sucks. Even if you're above the air, like there's that, like her landing options aren't all that great. Like the down air's pretty slow and laggy. You can L wind as a mix up, but if you're really high off the stage, you're gonna get punished pretty hard coming down. Uh, and if, even if you charge Thunder, like, you can do some stuff which be reversing Thunder and whatnot. But to cancel it, you either have to shoot Thunder or Air Dodge, which right. puts you in a vulnerable position, too. I would rather try and go for Fox Forward Air <laughs> than have to be in the end leg that is Arc Fire. Yeah, not off stage. It's just not fun. We're going to go to uh, Battlefield for the counter pick. Um, Robin can definitely use the platforms well. Just like stick underneath, throw projectiles. The sword covers the pro the platforms really well. The up air can cover the whole thing. Yep. The ability to control zone on battlefield is very underrated, I think. It's by, very strong. By some people. Yeah, many sorties really like battlefield because they can they can reach. They have no problems hitting people on the platforms, and they can like 
they can use it as a way to limit approaches, where like Ooh, you keep angle. people from coming directly above you. That's not good angle. That was a less good angle, yeah. Um, so Love's going to take the first stock that time, and with a huge lead this time, 18% uh, is not very much, but again, Robin off stage is never, never safe, yep. especially against Rosa. But good, good up air to, to back air combo. The only thing that I want to consider here is that in the previous game, Sandman only took 52% and still took off two stocks without losing one of his own. Yeah, that's so. oh the, the the stage spike once again right through the stage. Robin was even lower that time. That was yeah. ridiculous. That might be something for Sandman to look into for future games. Yeah, it is proving quite lethal. Yeah, I feel like he's been going for it. He's definitely been like landing into the ledge with down air as Robin's recovering. I think he, I think those are deliberate. He's gotten it twice already. Should be at this point. Yeah. If it's not, he's very lucky. Oh, there's, there goes uh, Luma. Ch chopped off with the elf under there. Good landing forward air mix-up. Going for those late aerials is kind of risky because you get you're getting more ending lag, and yep. if you if they, it gets blocked, you're gonna get punished harder. But like it's because of that that people are less likely to like do a forward air. Like people are less likely to forward air as you're landing into the ground. So it's like if they're that far into you, they're probably you're not expecting a hitbox. I'm with you. Oh, oh another. That was on. three. Three stocks taken by that brutal downer stage spike. I was talking at the beginning of the set about how like how rude Rose's downer can be to Robin's recovery, yeah, but that's not, not like how that. I was expecting. Yeah. No, we were expecting that just that late sent you just straight down. Yeah, the late hit with the spike, but wow, that will be Sandman moving into semifinals. Yep. Love shaking her head a little. Bit Going off. That's a rough one, bud. <laughs> well. <laughs> Get ready for it that's to happen a lot more, I can only imagine. That made me sad to watch. That's stupid stage fake. That's that's rough, my guy. Uh alright. Oh, we should I uh, Yeah, so we're I gonna have hit stop recording. Yeah, you Okay. Yeah, good job. Yeah. So now we're gonna have the third winners corners match. We're gonna have Captain L versus